Like most of us, I've never been to the deep sea. In fact, I don't think I've ever been more than a couple of meters underwater. Despite this, the deepest reaches of the ocean have become one of my lifelong fascinations. I trace my interest with the deep ocean back to a single page from an activity book I had as a child, simply titled The Abyss. It was a sprawling two-page spread showcasing the strange and mysterious creatures that live a few kilometers beneath the waves. I spent hours staring at this page when I was five, and much like in real life, finding all the deep sea fish was much more difficult than you might first imagine. I think a lot of the interest in the deep sea is driven by the mysteries it holds, but what unknowns are actually lurking in the depths? People often say that 95% of the ocean is unexplored, a number which has apparently dropped to 80% in the past decade. Thousands of new species are cataloged in the deep sea each year, many of them stranger and more alien looking than the last. We are unraveling the mysteries of the deep at an ever-increasing rate. There's never been a better time to study the abyss. Very few people ever get to visit the bottom of the ocean. One day I was curious if it was possible to, as someone who isn't a marine biologist, take a submarine into the abyss. Apparently you can if you happen to be in Honduras. For $900 a person, you can go down 600 meters into the sea. That does sound quite deep, although it's quite paltry compared to the average depth of the ocean, which is 3,600 meters. Everyone knows about the giant squid, but it's not the only oversized decapod hanging out in the bottom of the ocean. There's the colossal squid, which might be even larger, the Humboldt squid, which can grow almost as big as a person, and the big fin squid, known for its exceedingly long arms and tentacles. Most of these squid we know next to nothing about. Sometimes they wash up on the shore or swim past an ROV's camera, but that's about it. Like many creatures of the deep, they remain enigmatic. Maybe one day I'll get to visit the bottom of the ocean and explore the vast midnight beneath the waves, hopefully shining a light on some of the magnificent species that live there. For now, I plan on making more videos about this topic, including on the existential threats facing this almost unseen part of the world. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to Pixel Aquarium.